These people are known all around Ukraine, but seeing them in a village community center on the front line is quite a rare sight. Yet, this isn't the first time they were there. The war changed everything for me. The fact that on these territories where I was born, where I grew up, where I know a lot of people and know every road, stop, turn and everything else, suddenly armed foreigners, a front line, casualties, destroyed houses, there is no way it would not influence me. There's less than 10 kilometers from this location to the Donetsk airport, yet there is no feeling of being on the front line in this old community center. For Ukrainian soldiers, this is a chance to distract themselves from army routine, for locals to forget the terrors of war. It is important to feel the support from the big land today, especially during this boring trench warfare and bleak weather. It's like being home. The crowd freezes when Serhii Zhadan and Katarina Kalitko read their poetry. After them, the Ukrainian band Tanok na Maidani Konho enter the spotlight. At the end of the concert, all the participants came to the front stage. A flood of positive emotions, great mood, great evening. They have lifted our spirits and our morale, which is important. Ihor Yashchenko broadcast the song by Tanok na Maidani Konho on the volunteer radio. And soon he has guests on air. They all share their impressions from the concert. The military are more prepared. Some of them attended concerts back at home. They usually sing along or start dancing. Today locals also started singing along. This was very unusual for me, but also interesting and pleasant. The reaction here on the front lines really shows what these people are. It shows who they are. Oleh Mikhailuta, a musician, said that he clearly felt how the fight for independence united many Ukrainians. It suddenly turned out that millions of people are not indifferent, that it is their worldview. I was very surprised and it gave me the unshakable belief that this is not random. Artists had only one free day to come to the front lines, as there is a lot to be done back home. But they reassure that they will be back. Reported by Ihor Medelian, UATV.